listen to these types of songs with her boyfriend in the car, is it just us? Oh my god, I think she's gonna cry. With a solo Saturday date, we've got a small secret mission. Oh no, because I am gonna <laughs> Welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm looking put together for once and I'm loving it. And it's because we are starting this weekly vlog with a solo Saturday date. And I literally, sorry to be a poet, cannot wait. Um, tonight I'm actually off to, this is like the biggest full circle, like, a lot of you will probably find it really quite peculiar moment. I'm actually off to a journaling show talk event i really don't know what the right like word would be but basically let's rewind a minute lucy spraggan is holding hosting this like show talk journaling event basically if you don't know who lucy spraggan is she's the woman that went on x factor and sang last night i asked you to marry me that's when i remembered the brandy i woke up and blame i didn't say it screwed if i ever wake up in vegas wish i could stop and i'm not joking drinking too much and socially smoking wish i could stop start to behave and I'd wake up in the morning and never miss a day again she's the girl that sang that last night beer fear on x factor and i have been a lucy spraggan stan or I was very much a Lucy Spraggan stan growing up. I followed her to any show she did within a three hour car journey radius of me. I made my mum and my dad tour me and my friends around the UK. There was one time my dad queued outside with us for five hours to then just stand somewhere in the crowd of girls and women just holding all of our handbags like this. And we were front row and he was just behind us like this. What a legend, by the way. My mum actually did quite enjoy her time when she came to Lucy Spraggan. I have always been a big fan. I've always just loved singer songwriters that I think like can tell a really good story. The people I'm attracted to online are people that I just think are quite like articulate and like can have a good conversation. And they're the people I'm attracted to like musically as well. Hence why my obsession with Lil Kana. Anyway, I've not actually been to a Lucy Spraggan show or really listened to her music since I was probably about 17. But she put it on her story that she was doing this like journaling event called Words in Manchester. Tickets were like 30 quid, so I grabbed myself a ticket. I don't know anyone up here that likes it and I kind of thought it'd be fun to go alone because like of how much a stan I used to be. Anyway, so that's what we're doing tonight. But I feel like every good solo date starts with a nice dinner. I did consider going out, but I just got a gorgeous had a fresh box and saving money. So now more than ever, do I feel like this is your time to sign up to HelloFresh because I really, really feel like they are leveling up their meal game. Let me tell you what we're gonna cook tonight. Asian style fried chicken and teriyaki gyozas with chips and a zesty slaw. And let me tell you, HelloFresh like slaw, they do a sambal slaw, a zesty slaw, my favorite things. I actually don't like coleslaw, like super mayo-y, supermarket coleslaw. I've honestly never really tried it, never ordered it, don't really like it. I had it fresh for some reason, like they know how it's done. So this is what we're making right now. Like why would I need to go after dinner when I can make that? And then I got two more like meal preppy meals for the week. So I got a any sweet and sticky, sweet and something chicken stir fry from HelloFresh is also my absolute favorite show. That's exactly what I've got. Sweet and sticky chicken stir fry, gorgeous. And then I've got an oven baked glazed paprika chicken. How good does that sound? Both of these are just with rice. They have so many meals by the way. Obviously I only eat like chicken. So they have loads of fish ones. They have like a few beef ones, a few pork ones, and they always have loads of veggie ones. They're like veggie risottos and stuff are gorgeous. Anyway. We need to get cooking this because we're going to end up getting a taxi because if I wanted to get a tram, I'd need to leave in like 20 minutes. I also went on a little solo shopping date today and basically just got back a lot later than I should have. Wish I could stop, start to behave and I'd wake up in the morning and never miss a day because I need to learn when to shut my mouth. Wake up in the morning and be in my own house. Do one last shot and know when to stop. No more photos on Facebook on me doing the robot. So I've also spent the day listening to Lucy Spraggan. The old stuff, the new stuff, like some of it puts me in such a good mood. Like thinking back to when I was younger. 
Also, if you're unaware what HelloFresh is and you're thinking, hello, I'm gonna leave my juicy discount code on the screen. Something like 60% off your first box and 25% off your next six or something. Like it's such an insane discount code every time. I love working with brands that give me a great discount for you guys too. HelloFresh is a meal subscription service. So it is so handy because I've been away all week, right? So I got this delivered today, this morning so that I could have it for lunch, I could have it for dinner. And when I came back today, I didn't have to go shopping. I could just fo focus on unpacking, having a nice weekend day. I love it because I get to try different foods every week and living alone. You don't always get to do that. Meal prepping and living alone, buying sauces, buying salad dressings, buying pasta sauces. You kind of are forced to eat the same things all week or for a few weeks, like the same salad every lunch until your salad dre dressing bottle is gone. And that is what I love about HelloFresh because I don't have to do that. 34, this recipe is. So I go in my fridge and I grab bag 34. And then all of the ingredients I need are in here for exactly the amount of people that I've picked it for. And I just think it's really amazing. So I'm gonna get cooking this. Like I said, I'm gonna leave my discount code on the screen. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring the first little part of this video. Also, look what I got in my HelloFresh box. Dessert pots. Also, the Rare Beauty Mascara does not come to play games. Like, isn't it so good? Anyway, these come in my box this week. So, can't wait to have one of them tonight. Guys, how good does that look? For a weekend takeaway, fake away, tree i think it looks pretty darn good i'm actually gonna get some chopsticks for my guys the only downside here is that i've left myself about 10 minutes to enjoy it but look at my gyozas that is the perfect gyoza mm. oh my god wow yep that's the perfect gyoza and then a bit of zesty slaw mm -mm. wow seriously though to be honest anyone could put lime in anything and i'd be like they get it they just get it <laughs> The chicken. Mm. Wow, this is really good. A little chip. I keep getting hella fresh re meals recently and saying this might be my new favorite, which is why I think like they've really upped their game. Because every meal I'm having recently, I'm like, no, this is my new favorite. No, this is my new favorite. It's a Saturday night and I'm going out alone, so join me. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> this is fun. So much easier for me. If I pick up my phone, that's it, I'm done. Because I'm in I'm in the wherever, I go somewhere else. So for me, the first thing in the morning is great. However, some days if I've got to jump up and go and do something, I will journal. That was really fun. I just got the tram home so I couldn't vlog really because you know there was people on the tram. What do you think I was gonna do? Pull out this crazy thing? And also this time of night. I don't know. You never know who's on those crazy trams. Got my comfy pants on. This big hoodie is new. It's Adnola. I really should have actually got a size down. My other Adnola hoodie is a size small, but I got a medium this time because the first wash they do shrink a little bit. Although I do love the size of my other one. I just thought to be fair, I also wanted like a like a big cozy hoodie. So that's what I got. Going to, it's actually a decent time to be fair. It's half nine. No crazy, crazy night as such, but oh, actually <laughs> the legs are a little bit tight. I'm going to, the traitors is over guys, what are we ever gonna do? I'm gonna watch Emma Chambies new vid, have one of my little goo pots. I think we're going to my boyfriend's tomorrow in the evening. So that'll be nice. I'm a huge, okay, con controversial opinion. This era of Emma Chamberlain, like this new Anything Goes era of her podcast and her YouTube videos, huge stan. Would never ever miss a podcast, would never miss a video. I don't like her old stuff. Her fast, funny, like iconic, like the reason she went viral. They're just not my types of videos. I wanna be able to like watch something, feel like I'm connecting with someone like longer form, intelligent, articulate, curious, conversations, longer form content. That's my jam. So this new era of Emma Chamberlain, biggest stan, one might say actually. Good morning, morning, morning. How are we? It's actually not even kind of the morning. So it's now Sunday, it's half two. You, trust me, would not have been interested in anything I've been doing today. I sat here like a slob for hours. Well, not a slob. I had made a coffee, had breakfast, and then was doing like a lot of work, like re-editing the brand deal that's in last week's video and doing like some real editing. I made a really cute reel in TikTok this morning, editing 
the gym reel that I filmed the other day, like just a lot of like little random bits, but I'm now getting ready to go over to my boyfriend's because he finishes at half four. So I want to get into the station at half four so he can just like come and get me, which is why I was doing that because not gonna lie, this is the first week in the last like year, the first time where basically my boyfriend works hospitality. So he doesn't ever have weekends off. He always has a Monday off though, unless it's a bank holiday and that will have a midweek day off. Like he never has a weekend day off, literally ever. So I always have to see him in the week, which is a blessing because I'm self-employed. And this is the only week ever where I've been like, oh my God, I can't really see you. I've got a lot to do. Like where I feel overwhelmed about having a day off because I've got to move a podcast recording and a meeting. But I'm just packing, yeah, a bag. And to be honest, I need to leave for the station. Like now I'm gonna have to end up getting an Uber again. There we go. Anyone else? I'm going for one night and I have four pairs of underwear here. Girl logic is just the funniest thing ever. Guys, it was meant to be our day of fun and adventure and it is also, the bags are bagging. It is literally pouring it down. Lashing. It is <sighs> so rainy. But anyway, I'm gonna get a quick shower. I think shove my hair up, put my leggings on and we're gonna go out and attempt to find something fun to do. <laughs> We're just gonna drive, we're just gonna go and see where we end up because we don't really get much time together these days. So, gonna attempt to not let this stop us, but it is. I'll show you when we get in the car, it's literally lashing. Smash this game of your heart. I think I've broken four points, I've never done that before. Ever. Really? Yeah, like seriously impressive. <laughs> Oh, it's a cafe. Oh, 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 Love her, my mom, and that's the season of the six and I From something more you forgot that I existed Bro, I'm freezing Yeah, it's absolutely horrible, guys <laughs> Do you know what I feel like I'm in? Oh. Don't go outside! <laughs> Don't make any unnecessary drinks Do you know what I mean? No What? The news article, it's like a meme You do I need to show you. Um, <laughs> no, that sounded like Zara. You do, you do. <laughs> you can! <laughs> yeah. You can! <laughs> um, that did really make me laugh, bless her. I just saw the other I day and you told I me I sounded I like her. I don't think I can. I just don't think I can, Zara! <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Sorry, Zara. I must be quite whiny because you told me I sounded like her last week. <laughs> right, we. Wow, that was cute. Can you find me some petrol? Oh, fuck it, I need to go get out of the car. I'm drinking alcohol till my friends come home for Christmas and I... Uh, da, 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 da. The slowest reverse. Uh -huh. They forgot that I existed. Whoa. <laughs> she's, Whoa. She's taking so Whoa. long to find. Mysterious girl. Oh, quite far. Oh, there's one literally behind. Oh. Anyway, guys, we came to Ripon. Is that how you say it? Yeah. It's a cute little mooch, but it is absolutely vile outside. So sorry I didn't film anything because my camera would have got water damage. Like, <laughs> it was really raining. To be fair, now it's actually not. Thank gosh for that seatbelt mechanism. Um, yeah, we didn't really do much, to be honest. We went, oh, we went to the cathedral. We did. It was very pretty. Yeah, it was, and then we got some lunch in that cafe. I've wanted a nice seat for ages, so that was fun. But now we're gonna go back home. Apparently it's my turn to pick a film. Although, like, I feel like I don't know what we'll watch. So I'll have a look, and we're gonna get a hot chocolate from Starbucks on the way home. I got a hot chocolate! Does anyone else listen to these types of songs for their boyfriend in the car, or is it just us? I've had absolutely fabulous time. Like, when we, when we drive anywhere, it's like pit bull time of our lives. <laughs> Fucking 2010 disco. But well, this isn't our actual car. music taste, we just kind of come together. It is? We? Well, not like all the, like, through the week to week. <laughs> through the week to week? Through the week to week. You know, while I'm cleaning my bedroom, I'm not listening to it. No, I'm not. Good morning. We are now on our way back to Manchester. Sorry, I didn't vlog a lot. What is that?
What is that on my head? Why does it look like that? Literally looks like a foot. I've got no idea what that is. On my way back to Manchester, sorry I didn't vlog a lot. I don't really want to like vlog in Carter's like house. When we're out and about, fine. I feel like in his home, in his family home is a bit weird. But we came home yesterday and just watched Love on the Spectrum. It's so good. There's such a great guy on it. This There's a couple of really great guys actually on it this season. So that was really fun. And then we had a really nice dinner. Yeah, good. Anyway, and now I'm on my way back to Manchester. Hello, I am back. I'm not going to lie. My flat absolutely stinks. So I'm going to light um, some candles. I've just opened my window and took my bin out because my bin basically had like off cuts of chicken thigh in it which like in hindsight I probably should have took out but I was only supposed to stay at my boyfriend's for one night I was going to come back yesterday evening which I know isn't really that much difference in time like it's not even 12 hours just a rookie mistake so the window's open I got quite a few candles the other day from home sense because I completely ran out so this is cleansing it's from the brand lab bergamot grapefruit and sage it's absolutely stunning it's really quite fresh and like almost sweet and then i did get this one sea salt and amber gris but this is giving musk so i don't really want to light them at the same time so i'm gonna light this this is my current bathroom candle it's called relax this is from asda i think white iris and citrus oh, it's absolutely gorgeous i literally just this second finished the editing that i needed to do so that's good like this second just popped up that it exported i don't have time to upload it just because i don't want it to eat my internet as i'm doing this with re but let's just check okay the mop is in view <laughs> not that it's that deep but that is the background nice and clean i would put my sign on but i don't want to be backlit it's cute you can't really see it but it's cute got literally 10 minutes so i'm going to run through any questions that have been sent on the patreon and just go through the notes and then i film my guest podcasts on this thing called riverside if anybody is interested so i've set up a little studio and then we will just come into this at 12. easy peasy i did make some eggs on toast because i was a bit hungry okay podcast done that was such a good one such a good one. Brie is a natural podcaster and I think her journey in her 20s is something really different to honestly everything you see online, all the podcasts I've done so far. Like it just feels really different, which I really like. So that is actually coming out. Actually, when you're watching this, it went live yesterday. It's this week's podcast episode. So it's going live on Sunday. It's currently Tuesday. Yesterday for you, if you're watching this on Monday. Kind of feel like I'm all talked out. But let's go do one last little talk. Sorry, I feel like this part of the vlog has been a little bit boring. But come to Deansgate with me. And then I'm actually really glad that I left my run for now instead of the gym before. Because I'm feeling really accomplished. Feel like I've got a lot done. The sun is actually shining. It is blue skies. So I'm actually quite excited to come back and take myself on a little run. I'm literally just going to do like a 6K. Why am I not wearing a coat? Because I don't really have a cute one, like I was saying. Anyway, off to go to my meeting. Protein bar. These are so, so yum. I always had a big fat two handfuls of cashew nuts. Me and this road in Dean's Gate have, I was going to say such a love-hate relationship. I just don't like it. I feel like you always forget how long it is and you come off the tube tram and you just walk it forever and i actually said yeah let's meet a federal because i don't know why now that i'm like saying it out loud i don't know why i thought this for a split second i thought it was this side of the road i'm just walking up now i'm tired my noggin s tired this is the cashews i've been eating i've had them for ages actually i think i bought them in a, in a vlog as well i actually bought them for carter because carter like carries pocket cashews <laughs> Like, just cashews in his pocket. So I got him these at mine, but I don't actually think he likes them. I think they're too fancy for him. Because he never eats them. And he says you can't put them in your pocket because they have seasoning on them. But I actually love them. I'm a Prosecco drinker, coffee drinking, nut lover. Turns out, the adults were right. It does happen with age. Like, I don't always want a sweet snack these days. Sometimes I want savoury. I've got a few parcels. I thought maybe you might want to see what's in there. <laughs> I feel like I'm really funny because I feel like I, I was kind of born to live with people in the sense that I do just talk to myself all day, every day. But I love that I actually don't have to entertain conversation. 
Do you know what I mean? Although when I talk to my boyfriend, he doesn't answer and he's like, I didn't know if you wanted an answer, I get deeply offended. So it's probably quite good that I live alone because I really pick and choose when I do and don't want a response and just expect people around me to know. And if they don't know, then it's their fault, not mine. Basically, I personally really don't want to go on a run. But like my heart and my brain really do. But like, I don't want to go. Okay, let me open this and then, then I'll get talking to you. I've opened this in the most ridiculous way possible. Oh my God, is that a tote bag? I love a tote bag. This is from a brand that called that is called All Matters. Inside you'll find our iconic menstrual cup and our new sustainable, <gasps> no way, period underwear. Oh my God, I'm gonna scream. I don't think I do have period underwear though. Guys, period underwear are my crib tonight. I've got A and B, what does that mean? Is that a size? Size A for those who haven't given birth vaginally <laughs> and size B, for those that have. As far as I know, I have not given vaginal birth. I can't lie, these terrify me. I think you want me to put that on my vagina. It's quite big. But period underwear is my preferred method. One handy P, I absolutely love them. Like, I think they are just the best. Yeah, I don't think I do have any. Oh man. Well, I have this, I don't actually know what's in here. Whoa, what? Oh my God, I think I'm gonna cry. Oh. oh my God, no. You know those people in this world that like actually genuinely, like genuinely I mean this from the bottom of my heart, nobody in this world deserves. Like they just are the best people in the world. And I am grateful enough to have someone, I am like, I've been lucky enough, blessed enough, not grateful enough, like I have just been absolutely blessed for some reason, with, with them in my family. No fucking way. That is abs, that is the, the fucking kindest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Okay, would you like some context before I literally cry? I was at my, I've spoke about my cousin Liam and his wife Nora for many times in my vlogs. Um, they are the kindest people in the world, um, Nora especially. I mean, Liam, you're fabulous and you are such a nice guy, but his wife, <laughs> one of the nicest people you will ever, the pleasure is what I was about to say, will ever have the pleasure of meeting. If Nora walks into your life, you too, Liam, blessed, hit the jackpot, it's the loveliest person ever. I was at their house and the best host ever also. And she was making me a tea and I was drinking and I was like, I can't believe how hot this is staying. I was like, this is why I, I like never really drink that much tea and coffee because I'm really weird about like, it has to be the perfect temperature. And I want it to stay that temperature. Like I don't like them when they're really hot, but as soon as they get even like lukewarm, I can't drink them anymore. Like I would like them to be hot, not really hot, not lukewarm. I just want them to be hot. And they had these gorgeous like double layered mugs, which I feel like were a big thing like aesthetically a while ago, but they keep your drinks so hot. She fucking has just sent me to in the post with a card that says to keep your tea and coffee extra hot. Lovely and menorah. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, there's no way. Is that not the fucking kindest thing? In like, why, for what? Is that not just the kindest thing you've ever witnessed in your life? I'm running a 23K. <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest to run a 23K this weekend for Molly's birthday. So I should be taking a bit of a deload week is basically what I'm trying to say, which is making me talk myself out of running. So I know I should just go for like a 5K, even an easy three, 4K. But then part of me is like, what's the point? Because basically I wanna get a tour of this gym near me. I don't know why I really wanna change gyms at the moment. like. I think I just want to train somewhere that like I'm really in love with and that I really like but I love how convenient my gym is so I'm kind of like maybe I'll just go on a nice walk to end the day walk up to the gym sorry I just back cash you <laughs> walk up to the gym get a little tour but I know already in my brain that I regret doing that because I want to go for a run 
that I don't want to go for a run. And now I know the obvious answer here, here is to go for a run. But I'm also very um, weird that when I get something in my head, I want to do it. So now I really want to go and see the gym, like today now. So I'm like, what's the point in going for a run, coming back, getting changed, and then going? Could I do that? Yeah. But that feels like too much effort. And then I'm like, okay, hear me out. Go and see the gym. Hopefully like it. Sign up and do a gym session. But then I'm like, oh. Basically, I'm tired, but I know I should exercise because I'll feel better in the brain. But then I'm also like, a walk would be really nice because the sun is shining, the sun is setting, and it's quite a clear sky. <laughs> I'm being really silly. <laughs> oh, I'll come back to you in a minute. Guys, I ran over to the Virgin Active. That's, that was my compromise. I ran over, did a little loop round, and plodded on back home. And I'm just cooking up my sweet and sticky chicken which I cannot wait for I can't tell you how ravenous I am I can't tell you how ravenous I am I do think the chicken might be overcooked because I was so hungry I just put the chicken on to cook and then was just chucking in the veg as and when it was chopped but I'm leaving to go to the cinema in actually over an hour to be fair definitely gonna fall asleep in the cinema like doesn't finish till 11 don't know who I am thinking I'm gonna go to bed at like 12 a.m. tonight what I'm doing that for I don't know well to see my friends I have made absolutely zero effort with the presentation there but the taste 10-10 ten, ten. absolutely 10-10 ten, ten. oh good morning so yes I went to the cinema and I think it was called All of Us Strangers. And wow, it was not what any of us expected. I just went along. Sophie wanted to watch it and I was like, yeah, I'll come. I feel like I'm gonna have to pop this in the microwave or maybe not with my new mugs to keep everything warm. Um, I woke up late, surprise, surprise. Because I went to bed late, surprise, surprise, because we got back at 11. Burnt my tongue. Burnt my motherfucking tongue. <laughs> wow, that's hot. It's a perfect temperature actually, but I just <laughs> slurped it and literally burnt my tongue. It's absolutely delicious though. I have just made myself a coffee with a single shot espresso because me and Molly are going to go for coffee later. I've only been up for like an hour, so I shouldn't really be drinking coffee, but me and Molly are going to the gym. I'm going to have a gym buddy, guys. And I cannot wait to take Molly through my workout. I'm so excited to have a gym buddy. I think I'm going to go for some pbs today just some more over progressive overload on the squats i think i'm gonna try and go up a weight so just want a little bit of coffee in me a little bit of caffeine and i'm very excited to have a friend but i'm just cleaning the flat we've said about 10 so i've literally got about 20 minutes just cleaning up the flat a bit because it was a little bit of a mess from last night because i just washed my dishes and went to bed which was a rookie mistake <laughs> and i'm watching dragon's den so I'll probably take you to the gym a little bit. We'll see. Would you come again with me? I'm going to, yeah, I am. <laughs> Molly fucking smashed that session. Um, like it. Really? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess I won't move then. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to move? I had a look around the Virgin Active the other day. Yesterday. Yeah, smash that. Molly hit, well, many a new PB. Many a new. She's got 60 for three. Is that not crazy? So, I, from the I failed my 70, 77s. <sighs> Couldn't get you. You were so close though. Couldn't get, I wish, did you film it at any chance? Uh, maybe I did. I wish I'd seen how, how far off I was because I feel like, I feel like whenever you fail something, you're always like, I oh, probably could have done that, fuck's sake. But realistically, I probably couldn't have. We're gonna go get a coffee, I think, or something, we're not sure yet, and go shops and Buy stuff on Molly's birthday weekend. Yay! Can I film? Can I vlog that? Yeah. It'll be in the weekly vlog. We're going to a little house for Molly's birthday. Gonna do a big dinner party. So we're gonna go do the shop for it. Do you have like room in your fridge for it at all? Yeah, my, my fridge. fridge is like empty. empty okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna go do that. I'm so excited. I love stuff like this. So I'm gonna get a white. Oh, what I, I haven't got a cake. I might just get like a cookie as and then he says he's got enough plates and cutlery. I don't know what they look like, but That's they fine. can't be. They're not going to be black, are they? We'll get napkins, but napkins on top. Yeah, just in case they're like that. Yeah. So I just need to get different coloured candles like this. No, you're not doing your own cake. I can buy the cake. No, I'll do. I'll be in charge of cake. You're not buying your own balloons and bringing your own cake. Like this, this is so sad. You're not doing this. <laughs> I've got all iced caramel latte. 
Okay, shop done. Please put the card into the card reader and follow the instruction. Let's try and get this thing done. <laughs> and we've come to my favourite place. Haberdashery in looks for a tablecloth. These are the current contenders. I don't actually like that one. No? No, that's really yellow on camera. But she's too white. Too white. You want cream? That's... Although once all the things are on it and it's dark, maybe, but... Look, even if you did this and got, like, a roll of the peach on top, or, like, a pink... Yeah. That's cute. Oh, she's stuck to my finger. That's not a full table. No. But then if I roll her out and chop it in half, that's, like, they're wasting so much fabric. But you wouldn't have to chop it in half. You could go... <laughs> gather it a bit. Like, you could fold it in half and like ruche it which is fine but then i've got to get loads and loads of it yeah, but for the length of the table like how much okay we're securing the bags that, oh, I got this. look at this sorry that is so sorry cute. and that's cute that one. One i think it, it, it will struggle not to look cute <laughs> regardless of what his thing looks like okay guys we've got a small secret mission so I, for Molly's birthday, have bought her a personalised medal, which I don't have to show you yet, it's not here yet, um, for basically, I took her through her paces in the gym today because I, it's about time because she always puts me through my paces with running, she's a runner, I'm not, I'm a gym girl, I enjoy running, she likes the gym, so like, Today was the first time I got to kind of get her back because on Sunday she's making me run or she's asked me to run and I'm absolutely very happy to do it because I love her to the moon and back. 23K for her 23rd birthday. So I have got her a personalised, it's just like a female running medal and on the back it says 23K for 23 years of you and the date of her birthday, which is Sunday. So that's kind of what I got her and I wanted to get her something cute and like nice to go alongside it. But earlier she said... She was talking about cake and she was like, yeah, and then the cake. And I was like, this is really sad. Like, yeah, we're going to have so much fun. But I was like, I don't want you buying all your own birthday balloons and your own cake and all of that. So I was like, you've already bought the balloons. Let's go buy dinner. I was like, but don't worry about a cake. Like, let please let me sort the cake. And I really wanted to get Molly a while ago a, you know, the very aesthetic cakes. Put pictures on screen. But I inquired about one. Did you know they're literally like upwards cheapest of like 80 quid? Love you to bits, Molly. I am not in the financial position to spend £80 on a cake. But she just said that then, and I was like, oh, to be fair, I never thought about it again. And when we met, she... I don't know why we were having these conversations, but she was just like, I want one of these for my birthday. I'll be telling everybody, like, Milo, her boyfriend, everyone, like, I want this cake. So what we're going to do is make her a cute cake. But what I'm thinking we do is go and buy a cake and attempt to ice it. It's half four. So I think I'm going to shower really quickly. We're going to the cinema again tonight, which is the why I'm like really quickly because I have to be back out by eight. So I've got about three hours. So what I'm going to do is go up to Tesco, see if I can find just like a big enough birthday cake that doesn't have a lot of icing on it. It's just relatively plain, hopefully like white. And we're going to attempt to do something like this. I know she really wants one of the cute like piped coloured icing and stuff. I'm just not sure if I trust myself. So I think I'm gonna buy a cake. I think I'm gonna buy some cupcakes as well and see what we can do. I really like this with the bow and I think she would love that. So I think that could be cute. I also really wanna buy her like a birthday sash. I, I just kind of want her to like have a bit of a surprise in there. So I'm thinking let's go all out on the cake and like some decorations for her and like a sash or a badge for her to wear or even like a tiara. Maybe I can order like a fun birthday tiara. It is absolutely brutal outside. I'm absolutely soaked through. So I took a quick pit stop in m &S, which is on the way there, just to see. Just to gauge our options. How good is that? I could buy something like this and DIY it, but it doesn't feel as special. This is quite cute too. Okay, we've got some good options in Tesco. We've got this, which is just plain. I'm thinking we could probably get rid of the texture on the side. Again, we've got another really gorgeous white chocolate and raspberry. 
which could be a good base. You go cheaper and just cover it all. Here we bloody go. I nearly couldn't find this section yet, but this is what we want. Like what fun things can we find to DIY? Have you got any like fun edible flowers? You know, like that's the kind of vibe I'm thinking, or we just go for fun piping. Doesn't look like there's a lot though. Okay, here we go. They're not giving the same though. They're not really what I had in mind. Apparently I said, screw the budget. Molly deserves the best. <laughs> I ended up getting the white chocolate and raspberry cake because it was just the cleanest. And then I've decided to go for the colorful icing because the bow one would have been, I feel like cuter because I could have just done it easier. But I decided no, because although really cute and like literally Molly would appreciate me picking up a fucking four pound bright red cake like she she's so cute and like loves everything to be so aesthetic and everything but she's also like just such a nice like such an appreciative just like nice person like wouldn't expect me to do anything do you know what i mean just want to just just appreciative just lovely nice wouldn't expect someone to do that for her so although yeah she would have been happy with literally anything like she was gonna buy her own cake i know how badly she wanted like, uh, like, this is what I mean, not how badly, like, hint, hint, but, like, literally, like, when we first met in August, she was like, it's my dream to have a cake like this. So I decided, okay, we know she really wants something like that. Let's try and do it. So I got that cake, because, like I said, it's the plainest. And then I got three vanilla frostings, just because I have no concept of how much I might need. And basically, I bought a pack of 12 fairy cakes, which are actually called Miss Molly's. <laughs> um... Honestly, just to practice some piping on. There's also 12 of us, so I thought it would be cute. And then what I got was, I got some sparklers, like mini sparklers for the cake, because for the pics, like she would just love that. But then I got some normal candles in case she wants a cute little blowing out pic, or in case she is like funny about blowing out candles on her birthday. I don't know. I got some edible glue, which did I need? Probably not, but I got some mini wafer flowers for probably the cupcakes. And then I just got, I got a piping kit, and then I got orange, blue, and pink food coloring because that is the kind of colors that she's gone for, like you've seen earlier in the vlog. And then I just got these just in case I cannot pipe 23 onto the cake. I bought some decorating icing. Okay, guys, what I think I'm gonna do right now, I've got like an hour, is try and get the cake bare. And then what I think we're gonna do is just try and like cut this off and like smooth it off a bit. Don't want to do it on camera and just mess it up because I'm not being careful. But yeah, look, I think they'll just come straight off. <laughs> this is so oh okay. We might need to like it might have some like dips in it, but I think that's the best we're gonna get. So I'll keep you updated. But that is the plan right now. And I need to like concentrate, otherwise I'm gonna mess this up. So See you in a minute. <laughs> I actually managed to get the cake completely bare. It was actually really hard because it wasn't really hard, but it was definitely a bit more fiddly than I thought because the frozen dried raspberry bits are obviously really pink. And like the further they get in, they get a bit like moist and they start like turning the icing pink. And I obviously didn't have anything to cover it with, but we're completely bare. I'm actually finally off to go and watch Mean Girls, but I'm off to the cinema. I'm not actually gonna bring you. I'm just gonna, I think, focus this video on now, like finishing the cake and like doing a little montage for Molly's birthday and stuff. So I will probably catch you tomorrow, maybe like evening when we're doing this, because tomorrow I've just got work and meetings all day, nothing fun, but I'll let you know how I find Mean Girls and we can finish this and then it will be Molly's birthday weekend. Guys, we've entered a huge dilemma. I just was kind of like, okay, I want to start getting trying these cakes because if I leave it till later and something goes wrong, I'm going to be annoyed that it's like the evening and I can't do much about it. And I've just used a whole thing of icing, a whole tub of icing on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cupcakes. So I'm going to have to stop the cupcakes because one, they do not look cute. <laughs> like this is just not cute, but it has taught me that, okay, that's cute. And I can maybe do that around the edge. Um, and I just like tried to do the whole ribbon thing, which is like this. And then I scooped it up and put it on here. But 
I'm going to leave them for now because, yeah, they're not that cute. And two, they took a whole tub of icing. So, like, the priority is the cake. But I've also realised, now that I've put these in the nozzles, like, I have to use those colours. I've also been practising my 23. I think I'm going to use the pen and do it small in the middle. Literally just, like... 23 and I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do and I don't know whether to just like go for it I also now really want a cupcake. I really feel like they're so ugly and I just shouldn't bring them like they aren't cute Just gonna leave them to the side I think I should have just put bows on a cake because I mean in a pic she might look cute I think I'm gonna do final like row of orange stars just because I feel like the busier hopefully I make it the less like why did that droop so much god that one is really quite bad Good morning, guys. It is a be oh, a beautiful day outside. Like, hadn't really taken a minute to notice. It is blue skies. It is stunning. It is sunny. I, guys, this is really, really awful. My flat smells great. I left my candle burning all night. But also, I left my candle burning all night. And it's hardly even gone down. Would you like to see my finished cake? So one of Molly's friends is really sad he had to cancel. So she's not really got like anyone. This, she was basically staying around. She's not getting anyone staying around this morning. So I was like, okay, well, what do you need to do? Do you want to come here early? Do you want to like have a bit of a fun morning? Are you very happy to have a lion and get yourself sorted? Let me know. Um, and she was like, well, I still need to go to Aldi and do a little bit. So I was like, all right, well, you can come here if you want and we can just do, do all of that together. But would you like to see the finished cake? I'm really excited i'm really excited to show her but also like a little no, i'm not nervous to be fair i'm actually quite excited now like i've slept on it and i think it's cuter i basically decided one of um megan who watches my videos and is now a friend she comes to every single event um is like a baker like that's what she does she makes wedding cakes and everything so i messaged her i was like any tips and i was like keeping her updated in the whole process and i was like do you know what i think i'm gonna go in and add two more layers of the orange stars and like maybe another ribbon level just because i think the busier the less you notice if it's done well like the less perfect it has to be because it's busier so this is the cake i actually think it's really cute and i'm actually really really happy with it. i'm actually really happy with it i'm not gonna lie like i think it's quite cute i think i did quite a good job i think the colors are really good basically if you've seen the if you remember the vlog clip this is the colors of the event of the event of the birthday um some of these little drips of pink didn't go very well but it doesn't matter that much i think it's really cute and it just says 23 on the top i'm actually really happy with it to be fair i'm gonna um set the camera up and vlog her reaction but i think first and foremost we i'm like gonna go downstairs and get in her car and go straight to the shops i don't think she's coming up here first 
So that's the cake. That's basically her birthday present. Although I just wrote her a really lovely card and like I said, I have got her a medal for the run we're gonna do on her birthday, which will be really cute. And then we've got the little cupcakes that were kind of just my tester, but I actually think they ended up all right. Halfway through, I was like, these are so fucking ugly. Like there's no way I'm gonna bring these or use these. I'm embarrassed, but they're, actually, they're quite cute. They're the right colors. Um, they're actually really cute to be fair. Let me give you an overview. Like, are they cute professional cupcakes? No, but they're all right. I instantly regretted adding that. I was like, oh, there's two plain ones. I'll write 23 on them, but they went, it went so badly. So kind of regret that, but it's okay. Like that one, I was like, ugh, that's gone so ugly, but I think it's quite cute. This one, the buttercream was melting. So it's supposed to look like that one, but it wasn't holding its shape very well. Just remember how much I love you and how hard I would have tried. Oh my God, have you made a cake? <laughs> finish this weekly vlog here i as you can see did not get really any footage from molly's birthday night away i should have known better i should have known myself better i was very much in the moment having a good time making sure all the food was out ready and the cake was ready and helping molly get the tables ready and everything so the camera did not come out i did get a few little clips so if you want to see stuff over on my instagram and tiktok it's going to be on there maybe i would have included the reel that i've made who knows but i really hope you've enjoyed this video i've had such a nice weekend i've had such a good week currently aching we did do our 23k yesterday again i vlogged that on instagram and tiktok so if you want to go and see a short form video of that it is over there but i hope you've enjoyed this video remember about my hello fresh code i'll put it on the screen again 60 percent off your first box and 20 percent off, off i think or 25 percent off for the next two months incredible I am gonna go edit you now because it's currently Monday as I'm filming this. So you're gonna be watching this hopefully tonight in a few hours time. I love you a lot, have the best week ever and I will see you next Monday for a bit of a different video, which I'm quite excited about. Bye guys. <laughs>